All right, welcome back to another Touch Designer tutorial. And in this one, we're going to look at two different examples that are both using the um, line map. And they're very simple. So if you look at these networks, they're very small and um, pretty straightforward. And uh, I guess that's a, that's a great thing about this. So um, the line map is super powerful, and I, I can greatly encourage you to have a look at it so yeah let's do that now and the first one we're gonna look at kind of a 3d ish structure here that's the kind of these points that are connected and here we have more of this uh, flow field kind of grassland ish thing <laughs> I don't know okay so let's dive in here and uh, let's start together from scratch if you feel like it <laughs> Okay, so um, I'm gonna drop sphere in here, and I'm go I'm going to just uh, leave this as a mesh, and change the rows and columns to twenty both. I'm gonna add a geo to this, and uh, we're gonna add some other stuff in here. Let's first set up our render network. So I'm gonna add a camera, and I'm gonna zoom out a bit. So change this to seven and then add a render top. We're not gonna need a light in this one. I'm gonna change the resolution to 1080 by 1080. Um, then I'm gonna add a transform and a null. Call this one BG and change the alpha here to one and turn the comp over background color on. All right, so what we're gonna need now is a line mat. So I'm gonna drop a line mat uh, drag this on here and say parm material okay I'm gonna turn the display on and we see this uh, pretty boring wireframe of a sphere there um, so that's kind of the same thing as if you just turned on the viewer active and press W uh, so nothing interesting or special so far what we can do now is change the near and far distance of this. So let's change the far distance uh, to something higher. And let's change the, the width uh, of the lines to something a bit lower. So something like that. So these are not like fixed values. They're, these are just kind of, yeah, just, just feel free to, to mess around with them. Um, so I'm going to go to the line here and actually change both of these to white. <clears throat> and go to the common page and turn blending on and the dev test off. All right, then I'm gonna just uh, decrease these um, quite a bit. So the alpha on those lines. And I'm going to go to the point uh, tab and turn the draw points on and drag this to like, I don't know, three maybe or four, something like that. Um, and let's change this to white on both as well. And also go down with the alpha quite a bit. All right, so as you can see here, actually for this example, I'm going to move in a bit again. Um, we have the sphere um, and we're drawing like points wherever these lines meet. So it already lo looks a bit more interesting. We can go to this rotate here and here and type, type so they rotate y, rotate y, apps time dot frame times 0.5 or something, or maybe like 0.2, and then we have our sphere rotating. Okay, <coughs> um, before I add more stuff in here, I'm gonna show you some more simple examples. So you can just go down with the rows here and you instantly get some nice uh, simple geometric shapes so I don't know how this is called, <laughs> but these are, you know, uh, simple geometric shapes, I guess. So just play around with these and you can already see, you can create some nice looking um, things here just with this super simple setup. I'm gonna leave it at 20 for now and change this to a polygon for a second. And now we can Again, go to the detail tab and change the frequency of this so we can have like a kind of different looking sphere. And if I go too high, you can see uh, my FPS drops. Um, yeah, 
but uh, to a certain point that works pretty nicely. I'm going to leave it as uh, mesh. You can also uh, use the other ones, but mesh usually works the fastest. Okay, so let's add a noise in here to spice things up a bit. Before I do that, though, oops, I'm going to turn the viewer off for all of these, so these don't have to be computed. Okay, so I'm going to drop a noise, and you can instantly see this typical kind of noise movement in there. Um, I'm going to change a few things about this. So first is uh, the, the period. And on the camera, I'm going to zoom out again so you can see this better, the whole thing. I'm going to change the amplitude to 3 and um, the exponent to 0.7. And this just makes for a bit more interesting or dynamic movement. So if I just have to as 1, it's kind of more regularly moving in here. It's, uh, yeah, more dynamic, I guess. Okay, let's add a fractal and a noise uh, to this. Um, so first, the fractal. And uh, if I just bypass this for a second, a fractal just adds uh, kind of randomly a lot more points uh, in between. So you can uh, then define how, how far these should like go out there. I'm going to put this to like 0.5. And you can um, tell it to, to do more or less divisions. So I'm going to leave it at, at 2 and change the smoothness here to 5. So 0.5, um, actually 1.5. You can just see this is like how far they're going out. So just have a play with this. Uh, be caref careful though, because uh, uh, as soon as you go too high here, it's going to drop your FPS and get kind of laggy. It's a lot to compute, and it's all computed on a CPU. All right, so let's turn on the noise again, and we can already see there's some uh, nice movement going on here. Let's actually change this maybe down to 10 on uh, the sphere, so we're not going laggy here. All right, and the last thing is a, another noise after the fractal. And I'm going to change this to uh, like the amplitude to 2. And... Um, doesn't actually ah yeah <laughs> we have to connect it there and one thing that's also important to make this look nice go on the fractal and change this to views vertex normals and as you can see that makes quite the difference here we have like this typical kind of noise uh, 3d um, shape that you know uh, and if we turn this on it really makes this look a lot more interesting so it's kind of a neat trick and um, yeah, there we, there we kind of go. We can now change uh, the the scale of the points, um, alpha of the points. You can uh, change the alpha of the lines. You can uh, turn them on off completely. Actually, it looks a lot better with them though. So it kind of looks like this net uh, web, I guess. Not net. Um, yeah, and you can still like yeah. Ch change all these parameters and see what works uh, best for you. So, and obviously you can also use different kind of uh, source geometries. So you could use a tube, for example, and maybe make this like a bit higher. And it also looks different uh, a bit, at least. And you could even use simple things like a circle, uh, which usually just has like. Um, points all around uh, the, the, the edge, and if we attach this here, though, if I just look at like look at it this way, with the fractal, we also have points inside. So it looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah. Um, so much for the first part. You can already kind of grasp how powerful this line material is. I guess. I hope. <laughs> And um, let's get to the second part now. So I'm going to make this, we turn that off and look what's going on in here. So uh, this one is actually even simpler or even less operators. I'm just going to leave this as it is because we, we've already just set that up. And it's the same kind of rotation thing going on. I just uh, manually with the of turning this active, just kind of set the, the camera. 
So we're looking at this from a nice angle. All right, so I'm going to delete the material so we can work on that and delete this. So I'm going to add a grid. <coughs> and automatically connects because I just already did that. Um, so usually just connect it or create the geo from this, actually. And um, change the orientation to ZX. And let's add a noise here as well. OK, I also want to have a line map again. So we can actually see our geometry. Also, um, let's make this a lot bigger. So like five by five and the rows and columns to like 60 and 60. OK, so again, it's not super interesting. We just see this kind of landscape-ish thing there. Um, so let's turn the viewer off for both of these. And let's now change this attribute here to point normals. Because we want to be working with normals now. Um, yeah, so we can just, uh, so, so the noise here isn't affecting the position of the points, but just the normals of the points. So um, if we just uh, like turn the display on and here, like look at the normals, they all just go straight up. And if I turn on normals here, you can see they're kind of wiggly and uh, they're kind of like changing based on this noise. Perfect. So how do we actually display that? <laughs> Let's go to our line map and um, make this a bit higher again, change the width and near something lower. Let's turn off, uh, on, uh, yeah, <laughs> off the lines. So we don't want to see the lines, actually. We want to see the vectors. So the lines just connect the, the points, and the vectors are actually displaying the normals. All right, so it's also important that you have N selected here. Of P, it looks uh, different. Um, and we can change like uh, the scale of this. So you can make this any kind of scale you want, <laughs> obviously. Um, and let's also change this to white. And let's go to the common page, turn blending on, and turn the dev test on, uh, off. Jeez. Um, OK, and then let's go down with the alpha quite a bit. And then we can also change this. And so if you have this taper strength um, set to 1, it's just going to show lines um, right up to, to the scale. Like So it's like free whatever going up, <laughs> free, uh, how do you say, values, value steps, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, um, if, you, if you turn this down, they're going to like fade out a bit. So, as you can see, so it uh, looks a bit nicer, I think. And um, you can still go down a bit with this. So I don't know, maybe maybe like that. And now we can uh, change some stuff ab about our noise. Uh, so we can change the, the period. And um, we can change the amplitude. So it's just a bit softer or like very strong. I like it when it's more subtle. And um, yeah, you know, the usual noise stuff here. Um, last but not least, we can also obviously change the source geometry. So we, again, we could work with a sphere instead. So I'm going to attach that there. And maybe change this to like 60 and 60. And um, now we can maybe make the amplitude a bit stronger. And now we're pretty nicely in control of the normals there. And we can go down with the exponent. Yeah. We could also draw some, some points in there. Actually, no, let's not do that. Doesn't look good. <laughs> um, you also have the option for for caps, which you can't really see right now. I 
uh, you have to change this to like uh, round and then maybe change this to something extreme so you can see what's going on so um, that way you can also create some really sweet stuff <laughs> that's what we all want to do all right um, yeah play around with this as always have some fun um, there's a lot of stuff you can do with the line mat and um, as you yeah as I said this is uh, super simple and yeah <laughs> I'm still working on the beginner course um, so that's that's still like kind of going on um, yeah there there's gonna be um, more exciting stuff coming soon and uh, you can uh, you, you know you can support me on my patreon if you if you feel like doing that and um, generally thanks a lot to all the people that already are supporting me so it means a lot to me and uh, yeah I, I see you on the next video